The Protestant Reformation was a protest against Rome. It was actually Catholics who gave the name Protestant to reformers as a kind of insult, really. But it was claimed, as insults sometimes are by uh, groups that are kicking against the mainstream. And, um, of course, a lot of the tension in the Reformation was about Catholic doctrine as it had developed from the early fathers of the church through the medieval period, where layers upon layers of ritual were added, both to the liturgy and also to the institutions of the church around priesthood and uh, uh, episcopacy and the papacy and so forth. So um, Luther's main dispute, as we've seen, was on the issue of justification and not least the sale of indulgences, which were sold to shorten people's life in purgatory, uh, that interim state that was supposed in Catholic doctrine to exist between death and final translation to glory, um, which ultimately the reformers rejected. Um, but there were many other doctrinal disputes about the authority of scripture as over against the authority of the church and the authority of reason and to some extent of experience. Um, there were other disputes about the Lord's Supper um, and the mass, as it was called in the Catholic Church, and the notion that one re-sacrifices Christ on the altar of the Catholic Mass uh, at each service of communion. Um, and those disputes have carried right through to the present day. Protestants and Catholics are still um, debating and dialoguing about those key doctrinal questions. And uh, the figure of Mary is another important point of difference between Catholics and Protestants today. Um, she's often venerated as almost a co-redemptrix, uh, almost as important for our prayer life and salvation as Jesus, in fact, in some traditions of Catholicism, she's called that. Um, we see, as evangelical Protestants in particular, particularly deriving our understanding from that revivalist tradition of Protestantism, but also very much from the Reformation of Luther and Calvin and Zwingli and the Anabaptists. Uh, we see Mary as a faithful disciple, but a sinner alongside other sinful disciples, uh, who is um, prayerful, and supportive of her son, but nonetheless, you know, not to be venerated in the way that Catholics venerate her. Um, so there are all of these doctrinal areas of difference which continue in ecumenical dialogue and interdenominational dialogue. Um, I've been involved in some of those Protestant Catholic dialogues myself, and they're not easy because there is still quite a lot of divergence.